Why is everyone talking about Roblox? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roblox Funland. Over half of US kids under age 16 played Roblox in 2020, yet many people still don't know what Roblox is. I mean, we all know how curious teens are and especially Gen Z. But now, the planet has been set ablaze with Roblox fever. Major outlets a bit like the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times and CNN are suddenly writing about this thing called Roblox. Google searches for Roblox stock have skyrocketed in March, and even celebrities like Reese Witherspoon are making jokes about it. But maybe you don't know why Roblox has gained mainstream hype in 2021. Well, I'm here to explain everything. What is Roblox? Roblox is a web platform and storefront where users attend and play games. Roblox isn't a game, it's an area where people play games made by other developers. In this sense, it's more like the PC platform Steam than it's to any online children's game. What makes Roblox different from anything within the games industry, including a storefront like Steam, is that each one of the games are made by its users. On Roblox, the fun doesn't just come from playing games, it also comes from making games. These games aren't formally developed by Roblox Corporation, but by users of the platform. Currently, the official website boasts that its users have published over 20 million games on the platform. Why is everyone talking about Roblox right now? Because anyone, including kids, can make plenty of cash on the platform. Some developers can earn the maximum amount as $1 million during a single year by monetizing their games. Although Roblox and every one of its games are freely available, many kids buy and spend a virtual currency called Robux on aesthetic items in Roblox games. Roblox developers get to stay some of those transactions within the sort of Robux. Once a developer makes enough money in Robux, they will use a program called the Developer Exchange to convert Robux to real money. Who doesn't want to earn money while playing games? It's not just individual creators who are cashing in, Roblox Corporation itself is worth a surprising amount of money. Roblox Corporation went public on Wednesday, meaning that it's opened sales of its shares. Its stock had an excellent first day, beginning with a $45 reference price and shutting at $69.50 a share. The company ended up with a market capitalization of roughly $45 billion per a report from the Wall Street Journal. To give you a thought of how huge that is, Epic Games, maker of the ever-popular Fortnite and Unreal Engine software, was valued at $17.3 billion in late 2020. Roblox's success on the market, including the very fact that the Roblox economy is nearly entirely traveled by children who can make tons of cash, has intrigued many of us. How popular are Roblox games? Incredibly popular in some cases, Adopt Me, a pet simulation game where kids buy and look out for animals, broke over 1.6 million concurrent players in April 2020, its developers said, and has been visited by players over 20.4 billion times. Numbers for unique logins haven't been publicly disclosed by the developer. Another game called Brookhaven currently has the foremost concurrent users, with over 420,000 people playing it at the time of publication. Who makes Roblox games? When I started researching this topic, this was the question I was super curious for. Anyone can make games on Roblox. The platform gives children how to bring their own game ideas to life. It does this by providing a set of game development tools that nearly anyone can learn to use, including kids. If a game flies, it's possible for these developers to scale, since Roblox also makes it easy to show your creation into a web multiplayer game. The games use a scripting language called Lua, which is simpler to find out than most other programming languages. The company provides developer forums where makers can troubleshoot, also can learn new skills. With Roblox, developers don't have to worry about logistics like the way to find out servers, they only make the sport, and players can play their game through online multiplayer. How deep do you get into game creation is up to every developer? What does the average Roblox game look like? The most straightforward answer to the present is that there's no average Roblox game. Roblox may be a platform where people can make whatever they need. There are a good variety of games, from single-player platforms to first-person shooters. That being said, 
The four most popular games tend to be simulators during which people can roleplay different scenarios, like getting to school or visiting a pizzeria. Is Roblox free? The platform and therefore the games thereon are liberal to download. However, Roblox Games offers in-game purchases of cosmetic items, skins, or other upgrades. For example, in Adopt Me, players adopt and look after pets. A toddler can purchase an egg which will hatch a pet. Each game is exclusive, so in-game purchases will vary. What's the long run of Roblox? The colorful and kooky worlds of Roblox have long been siloed away from the games industry at large. Somehow relegated to the niche audience of children's games, the company remained relatively unnoticed since its founding in 2006. Over time, the company has continued to grow and support the young developers who distribute the games they create on the Roblox platform. By doing this, the company created a platform that has functioned as a parallel games industry. Roblox has its own games, its own developers, and its own conferences. Now, the company's current valuation has many manufacturers on the platform feeling optimistic. Some developers are already talking about buying their own stock now that the larger company has gone public. Alex Hicks, the co-founder of a Roblox studio called Red Manta, told Polygon that he's excited about the overall public offering because it's definitely bringing more attention to studios. He continued, Lots of kids already know what Roblox is, but they're just scratching the surface with the older audience. Roblox has already been growing for a brief time, and its creators will likely get some more widespread recognition within the longer term. Can it be a danger for underage, immature children? I mean, obviously it's a great platform, but everything has a right age to start. So yes, it is dangerous. Why? The aim of Roblox is for players to interact and make friends. This is often achieved by wandering around the online world and stopping to talk with other players within an unmoderated chat feature. Like all online multiplayer games, there's little to no control over the sorts of individuals or age limits of those playing the game. Despite the actual fact that strict chat filters are often activated, blocking inappropriate words and phrases, children are still susceptible to being targeted by online predators. This problem isn't unique to Roblox, far away from it. Throughout the online gaming world, wherever games are marketed to children, online predators lurk. Social games like this are often used as a platform to lure children away from the game and onto other platforms, example, Facebook, Snapchat, and even in some cases, Skype. Roblox appeals directly to children under 12, easy targets who lack the facility to discriminate between appropriate and inappropriate requests. The game invites players to explore imaginary worlds of all kinds, a variety of those are sexual in nature. One British dad who decided to ascertain out the game his sons were enthusiastic to was shocked to urge avatars having virtual sex, ABC News reported in 2017. The chat function poses a real danger to children playing this popular game, explains Why Safe psychologist Jordan Foster, Variety One cyber expert at Family Zone. With limited safety measures embedded within the game, children are open prey for predators to talk with. Consider it almost like sending a toddler out into a real room full of strangers with no barriers in place to stop people having the power to talk to whomever they like. For these reasons, Miss Foster regards Roblox as unsafe for kids under the age of 12 and possibly older children also. Have you ever tried any Roblox games? If yes, then which one? Let me know in the comments section. I hope you find this video interesting and informative. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update. See you soon in another video. Thanks for sticking till the end.